Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join a hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So first off, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. But in this video, I want to talk about Michael McLeod. There's been a recent rumor that's come out about him, and it's not like one of those drawn-up rumors that anybody would talk about. It's coming from James Nichols, who does reporting for the Devils, tweets out a lot about them, and I, I trust what he says. So this isn't something that, you know, just to get views and clicks off of, um, you know, what you see on social media. I think there's something behind this, but should the Devils make this move? I really don't. I like what Michael McLeod has become with the New Jersey Devils since being drafted uh, in the 2016 first round. Um, you know, it's been controversial with him because we, at the time we drafted him, we needed uh, a center who could produce. And over time, we haven't seen that production level from him. But he's found his way to being one of our best defensive forwards uh, playing on the bottom six, uh, in our bottom six. So I want to talk about the tweet. I want to talk about uh, McLeod. And is it worth it for the Devils to do this as we approach the trade deadline this year? So stay with me throughout. So James Nichols tweeted out, A source confirmed to New Jersey Hockey Now that trade talks involving New Jersey Devils 2016 first round pick Michael McLeod have picked up. Looking at Michael McLeod, he's 25 years old, 6'2", 188 pounds. He's currently on a $1.4 million cap hit. His contract expires at the end of this year, the 23-24 season, and he's an RFA. Uh, looking at his stats, this year he's going to break whatever his best year was as a devil. Uh, in 23-24, he's played in 35 games uh, to date. Uh, he has 7 goals, 7 assists, 14 points. Uh, looking at his best year, which was last year in the 22-23 season, he played in 80 games, 4 goals, 22 assists for 26 points. Again, that's his best year. And the year before that, in 21-22, he played in 77 games, 6 goals, 14 assists, 20 points. In the playoffs, he's played in 12 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points. So, primarily plays on our fourth line, but with the injuries that have occurred to Heesher and Hughes and Timo Meyer this year, he's played up the lineup, he's played more minutes, and his his production has gone up. And, you know, a lot of teams have taken notice of the way McLeod plays. He's a fourth line guy, he battles, he competes, he goes in the hard areas, he can provide offense, he's got hands, he's got a good shot, and, um, you know, he sticks up for his teammates. He's just a, a player that comes and plays each and every shift and each and every game. So, Teams take notice of this. They want more of this in their lineup. And the Devils need more of this too. So that's why this rumor and this trade comes at a weird time. The Devils are in the thick of a playoff uh, position right now. I know a win or a loss and another team's win could take them out of it for the time being. But, you know, they're they're in it right now. And, um, you know, I, I really do believe the Devils will take off at some time when they figure things out. Maybe when they add a piece or two. But, um... You know, they've been playing well as of late. I know they lost recently to the Boston Bruins, but they, they were on a win streak before that, and they were playing better. And, um, you know, McLeod is a key piece to that. You know, I know he was a 2016 first-round first, uh, first round draft pick. A lot of the fans expected more of him at that time because we needed center ice players to really produce and help the team out. We didn't really have our core intact as of yet, and we pictured Michael McLeod as one of those pieces. But over the years... You've seen what he's developed into. He's a bottom line guy, but he provides so much to a team. And the team likes this. They, they like McLeod. They want to keep him around. But I don't know if it's a contract thing because we've seen that Tom Fitzgerald has reached out to certain players' agents about an extension. Maybe that's what this is behind the scenes involved. And maybe he's reached out to McLeod's um, you know, camp and seen what a, what a longer extension would be based on the way he's playing this year. Um, but I, I still see him as a key piece going forward. But maybe that's something. Maybe it's they're not meeting eye to eye on a certain number that they're both coming to. And, um, you know, maybe on a on another team he could play a lot more and his stats would inflate even more. So I, I don't know what the reasoning is behind this. I found this shocking because McLeod is a piece we wanted to extend after this year. Uh, but we're seeing the cap go up a bit. I know that's going to help, but with other players needing contracts too, Maybe that comes into the picture as, you know, maybe it'll price McLeod out. I don't know. But, um, you know, maybe this is involving a bigger piece. Maybe he's a name that's thrown in to help us get what we really need, which is another good uh, defensive defenseman. We need a goaltender, so maybe he's part of that. But I just don't see any players coming in and really filling that void as of now. You know, we have a lot of players that we could throw around in certain positions, but Noshek has been out for a long time. 
I don't see any players in the AHL really stepping it up to be called up. You know, we haven't heard Foote's name being mentioned as a potential call up. We haven't heard Clark, uh, Stillman, those names that we thought maybe we might see at a given point this year. Um, we haven't seen. Um, so I don't know. I, I We've seen Tier Tierney come up. We've seen Dowling come up. Um, you know, and other players too. But, um, you know, I just don't see them filling the certain play that McLeod does. So I hope this isn't something that happens. You know, McLeod is having an awesome year. He's first in the league in face-off win percentage at 66.3. Uh, I love the way he plays. He battles, competes. He plays against other teams' top lines. He's one of our best defensive forwards. The team loves this guy. And, you know, he's just great out there. You know, the way he plays. He battles, competes. He grinds. He goes to tough areas. He takes hits, gives hits. He fights. He sticks up for his teammates. And the Devils need more of this in their lineup. And I don't think losing him would be very smart at this point. So, I don't know. As more news approaches with this, um, I'll do videos on it. But, you know, with the name that... that said this out i just think there's more behind this that um it could be true i i don't know but um you know james nichols does great reporting for the devils i, I like his tweets um and i like his articles so I, I just i think there's more to this but we'll have to wait and see what evolves out of this but i really hope the devils don't trade on mcleod because i don't see any players coming in or coming up that can really play the way he plays i really think he's a key fixture to this even though he's not on our uh, top lines, but he adds a lot to this team. I really hope that uh, they can keep him around. So comment below. What do you think about this? What do you think about this news? Comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. It's free and join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.